Well, it's good to see you showing up for work this week. It's nice to see. Hopefully this is you turning over a new leaf. Are you ready for some good news? First up, researchers have found another application for the gene editing technique known as CRISPR, and this time the target is HIV. Two weeks ago I told you about a new form of CRISPR called Sherlock that is being developed for diagnostic purposes. This time, the star of the show is good old CRISPR-Cas9, CRISPR classic, if you will, which researchers at the Lewis Katz School of Medicine at Temple University and the University of Pittsburgh have used to eliminate HIV-1 infection in live animals. The researchers were able to use CRISPR to remove HIV-1 from the genomes of infected animals in mouse models of human HIV infection, destroying the ability of the virus to replicate itself and eliminating it. The technique was found to be effective when tested on models of both acute and latent HIV infection. This research is published in the journal Molecular Therapy. Next up, researchers in Munich have developed a new holography technique that can generate three-dimensional images using only the microwave radiation of a Wi-Fi transmitter. The process is being developed at the Technical University of Munich, and it allows scientists to create 3D holograms of the space surrounding a Wi-Fi transmitter, enabling them to track the positions of objects in the space by observing changes in the signal pattern. This technology is a significant development because unlike existing methods for generating similar holograms using microwave radiation, it requires relatively little bandwidth. It works with typical consumer level Wi-Fi transmitters and even cell phones. The potential applications of the technology are numerous and include locating parts and equipment in automated industrial environments and mapping the interiors of structures that have collapsed due to a natural disaster, making it easier for rescue workers to reach people trapped inside. The paper on this Wi-Fi holographic process is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. Finally, engineers right here in Maryland have developed a new way to filter toxins out of water using one of humanity's favorite materials, wood. Well, wood and a little something extra. Researchers at the University of Maryland's Energy Research Center soaked a block of linden wood in palladium, creating a filter capable of efficiently removing toxic dye from water. The dye particles bond with the palladium while the water is pushed through the natural channels in the wood and comes out clean. Filters like this could be used to decontaminate wastewater and the team is also developing similar wood filters that can remove heavy metals. And they're also working on ways of scaling up their prototype for use at the industrial level. The paper on this wood-based water filter is published in the journal ACS Nano. What do you think of that? It's impressive, right? Pretty cool. Anyway, so researchers use CRISPR gene editing to eliminate HIV infection. A new form of holography can generate 3D images of a room using only a Wi-Fi router. And do you respect wood? You should, because engineers are using it to make filters that can clean up toxic water. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.